Hi everyone, welcome to Watch It Played Table Talk. My name is Rodney Smith. In this weekly segment, I propose a gaming related topic, share my initial thoughts on it, and then invite your responses through the YouTube comments and your own videos, which I'll compile into next week's Table Talk Back episode. And that way we can all participate in the conversation. Now, if you're looking for Pep, he's not here for this episode, but he'll be joining us again sometime in the future, I'm sure. This time around, I want to talk about the introduction of digital elements, like apps and that sort of thing, into our more traditional board games of cardboard and plastic. Now, on our series, we featured XCOM the board game and Golem Arcana, and although I don't have videos for it, I've also personally played Alchemists, which is another popular game that has app integration. But when I first heard about this coming wave of board games that would include the use of some kind of device, whether it be a phone or tablet or computer, I was a little skeptical. Actually, I'd say I was put off. I, I, really, I really wasn't keen on the idea. Don't get me wrong, I love my phone. This is a very powerful and useful tool that I can carry around in my back pocket. So, so it's not that, it's just that I, I didn't necessarily want to introduce another digital interface into another aspect of my life. And I like that board games give me a very immersive, tactile experience where I'm interacting with real people and real things, not virtual people and virtual things. And again, don't get me wrong, I like video games, but I consider that to be a different kind of activity. And I wasn't sure I was really looking forward to seeing those lines blurred and crossing each other. Now, although I had a very negative initial gut reaction to the idea of introducing digital elements into our board games, I've really come around on that, at least in part because I recognize that this really isn't something new to our hobby. When I was younger, my brother who was, and still is, uh, 16 years older than I am, he had a game called Stop Thief, which was put out in the 70s, I believe the late 70s. And I loved that game. I thought it was amazing. Uh, it was very similar to Scotland Yard. You had a criminal who you were trying to chase and be the first investigator to catch. But the criminal was not controlled by a player. It was controlled by an electronic device that would give out sounds. So if you heard tires squealing, then you knew the criminal was escaping by car. Then if you heard a window smash, you knew they entered a building or you might hear subway sounds. And all of this was very immersive and really fun and exciting. And it didn't take away from my enjoyment of the game at all. If anything, it certainly added to it. And I also thought about the game Mall Madness, which uh, I bought for my daughter when she was younger, Andrea, and, and we had a lot of fun playing that uh, and chasing down sales that would be announced uh, over a digital loudspeaker that came with the game. Perhaps what it is really is that, I'll call it a gimmick, but the digital gimmick was most often found in mass market or games for kids. And it's only now that we're really seeing them being introduced into more serious hobby games. Perhaps the other difference is that those older games had all of the necessary hardware included right in the box. Whereas these modern games require at least one person to have a phone or tablet or PC. But that is really less of an issue these days. At least I find, if anything, even games that don't require <laughs> device, there's still several people around the table with them for some reason, myself included. So yeah, that's probably less of an issue. I know for myself personally, I just find, take something like Golem Arcana, if I want to have a miniatures game experience, this is now providing me a way to do that and to share that experience with someone who's not a miniatures game player and to teach the game very quickly, to have uh, rules mistakes basically eliminated because the app won't let us make mistakes, but still retain army building, a variety of units and effects, and tactical decision making. So it's not to say that I don't, I don't think one's gonna replace the other, because there's always gonna be that enjoyment of <laughs> the rules arguing and the complexity of rules, and just uh, the things you can do with terrain in a more traditional miniatures game than you can do in say something like Golem Arcana. But I found that the introduction of that app element doesn't take away things I like necessarily, it just sort of helps and complements the things I do like. Same with XCOM, there's a game that 
um, you know, provides you with a variety of different scenarios and uh, uh, pr introduces randomness that would otherwise have to be controlled by another person and, and, and certain, a certain amount of bookkeeping that just gets taken out and you get to focus on different elements of the gameplay instead. And I don't, I don't think that <laughs> games like this, like Istanbul that I have set up here, are ever going to go the way of the dodo bird just because some games are going to introduce apps. But that said, I, I mean, I, I don't think that apps are necessarily just purely a good thing. And I'd be interested to hear what you think. You know, do you, when you see that there's an app introduced into a game, do you get excited about the possibilities or is it a turnoff for you? And you're just like, you know what, this is not for me. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts on that, where you see board games going in the future with app integration. Maybe you have some experiences of other hobbies where digital elements have been introduced and you've seen it either improve or worsen that hobby. I'd love to hear about it. So put that in the comments below. If you'd like, you can short, shoot a short, you can short a shoot, you can shoot a short two minute video or less and just share your thoughts with us. And I will compile all those comments and videos into next week's Table Talk Back episode. But until then, thanks for watching.